y'all. When it's poker night at our house, everyone's a winner. Cause today we are gonna be dealing with three of a kind. My sons Jamie and Bobby are in the kitchen with mom today. Jamie is gonna whip up some chicken nuggets covered in his favorite snack, potato chips. Then he shows us how his herb cheese and cracker bits are worth more to him than his poker chips. And next up, Bobby takes us down memory lane with our Grandma Paul's caramel corn, sweet and salty, just perfect for a late night game. Then when it's my deal, I'm gonna shuffle up a fresh fruit pizza for dessert that'll just round out our full house. So y'all open up the card table and pull out the poker chips cause the lady and sons are in the house. In case y'all have just joined us, I've got two very special men in my life that I want to introduce you to. And this tall, pretty thing right here with the dimples and the blue eyes oh. is my son, Jamie. And this one over here with that beautiful Short. olive skin and those blazing black eyes is my youngest son, Bobby. So get to work. Hey, Mama. What are y'all cooking for me? Mom, today we're doing chicken nuggets and we're gonna roll them in potato chips. Oh, you know how your mama loves a tater? <laughs> <laughs> Perfect, and what are you doing, son? I'm making the best honey mustard sauce known to man to go with those chicken That's nuggets. That's my boy. This chicken is gonna take a little bit longer than Bobby's sauce, so let's get yeah. started on this end first. And okay. it's, it's, this is really easy too. All we're gonna do is start with two and a half cups of crushed sour cream and onion potato chips. And we don't want them into little bitty tiny pieces, so we're just barely going to break them. Okay. We're going to put them into this shallow bowl. And then kind of like most chicken batters that we do, it just consists of one egg and two yeah. tablespoons of milk. Uh, are you going to season your chicken or anything? No, nope, I'm not doing anything with it. A lot of flavor is going to come out of these potato uh -huh, chips. Because the salt's mm -hmm. going to be in your yep. chips. And that the sour cream gotcha. seasoning on there too. Gotcha. So we're just going to put that into the batter and we're just going to lightly toss it in the potato chips. Okay. Not too much at one time. Okay. I see that you picked out my very favorite cast iron pan to cook these in. It makes cleanup so easy, although you really don't want to do too much cleaning on your cast iron because it soaks up the flavor and it's, it's just the best thing in the world to cook in. So while you'll never yeah. scrub it down with a Brillo pad, the raise just makes yeah. it a lot easier to clean up. All right, Bobby. All right, Mom. What are you up to over here? I'm making our honey mustard. Starting with three quarters of a cup of mayonnaise, which we eat like yogurt in the South. Like uh, ice cream. <laughs> right. <laughs> Three tablespoons of honey. We are going to add two tablespoons of yellow mustard. Come on, mustard. Oop! Oops! <laughs> <laughs> Excuse us. Wow. Again! <laughs> Bobby! So that's two. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> We're going to add a little horseradish to taste. I like a little paprika in my honey mustard for color. So I'm going to add just a little bit. We're going to give her a whirl. And, and for consistency, you can always add a little bit of lemonade or orange juice or fresh squeezed lemon or fresh squeezed orange, pineapple juice. And it looks pretty good. And I'm going to let my mom will be the taste tester here. So. Mm. That's pretty, pretty good. good. It's pretty good. Um, I think. <laughs> hey, Don. Hey. What? You ready to finish it? I am. Oh, okay, I see. I, I think that I would add just a little bit more horseradish. <laughs> Wouldn't you? Yes, ma'am. Immediately. Just a little more for you because I know you're spicy. Is that a compliment? No. <laughs> <laughs> of course it is, I love you. See if that's a little better. Mm. Perfect. Yes, I love it, love it. Right. 
All right, son, how are you coming over here? You ready to get your Good. chicken nuggets in the oven? Yes, ma'am. I've got them all laid out in our pan here, and this is a little bit of butter, and we're just going to drizzle it over the top of this. They look great, but why don't you put some paprika on them to brown them? <laughs> Pass me the paprika, Bobby. Little paprika to help brown. I'm going to put it in the oven, and it's going to go for about 15 minutes on mm -hmm. 350 degrees. Mm -hmm. And so we'll just go ahead and pop that right in. Got a honey mustard ready. Okay, and I've got a plate. Pass me that. And I've bowl. got a cup for your sauce. That looks it's, good. It's perfect. It's perfect. It's exactly yeah, how Yeah, it looks yummy. Well, I've got some chicken in the oven that's ready to come out. Ooh, even better. There you go. Oh, my goodness. That so looks so good. He's out of here. Now, see, aren't you glad you used the paprika? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, ma'am. Didn't it make it pretty? It. Sure did. All right. Gosh, look, look, I love the brown crispy. Me too. Mmm. So good. Good. Chicken and potato chips. Mmm. And you know what? So good. As much as I love your fried chicken, it doesn't have nearly the calories. Well, good. I'm glad. <laughs> it's wonderful. It really is. It really is. It is. So what are y'all cooking up next? One of my favorites, herb cheese and cracker bits. Mm. Perfect for a poker game. What are you making, I'm son? making Grandma Paul's caramelized popcorn. I mm. remember when we used to go out to Grandma Paul's and she used to make it for us and I loved it. And so will you. Boy, those nuggets and sauce were great. They're gonna be perfect for tonight's game. Well, I've been looking forward to poker night. Brings That's back, wonderful. Brings back great memories of Grandma Paul's house when she used to make the caramelized popcorn and the chocolate popcorn. And it's so simple that, I mean, even I can do it. So, four quarts of popcorn to start with. And I haven't really measured this, these nuts, but I like mine pretty nutty. All right, I'm gonna start making the caramel glaze for this. And we're going to start out with two sticks of butter. Always a stick of butter. Indeed. Are you poking fun at me? Always. <laughs> two cups of brown sugar. And you want to make sure that you pack that brown sugar down in there real well. One teaspoon of salt that I'm about to add to my caramel glaze here. And then to finish it off is going to be a half cup of Cairo syrup. We're going to cook it for about five to eight minutes. And I've got one back here that's finished. It's looking good, son. It is looking good. So now it's time to one, add your bacon one soda. One teaspoon of bacon soda. Uh, uh, is it going to foam? It's going to be delicious. Yes, it's going to foam. And it looks like we're good to go. Doesn't it look delicious look and smell wonderful? About to have a cleanup. Yes, I am. All right, you better <laughs> pour it over your popcorn. I'm just going to pour that right over the popcorn. Ooh, can I stir it? Can Please. I be stirring it for Please. you? Looks yummy, son. The first time you ate this, gosh, you were a little bitty boy, weren't you? I was probably uh, four or five. Yeah, maybe three. Jamie, how you doing over there? Doing good. I'm fixing to get this recipe started. I've just got two boxes of crackers, and you have to make sure that you get the cheese Ritz crackers. It won't take you long to discover you made a mistake until you dump oil and dill weed on a peanut butter cracker. <laughs> All we're going to do with this is I need a half a cup of oil. We're going to do a heaping tablespoon of dill. OK, I've got a, a teaspoon of celery salt in here, and I'm just going to put a teaspoon of garlic powder in here as well. And the final thing is just one pack of ranch dry dressing mix. You know what, Jamie? Ma'am? One time I went to make these, and I didn't have any ranch dressing. But I had Italian, dry Italian. How and was I, that? oh my God, it was delicious. All right, Mom, I'm going to need your help right here, okay? okay. It's, time to, it's time to pan up okay. this uh, caramel popcorn. Okie doke. We're going to put it in a 200 degree oven for about an hour and stir it every 15 minutes. Sounds good to me. And that'll crisp it all back up. It'll it? be wonderful. Mm, mm. You won't believe it. Can't wait to eat. All right, you're going to put it in this oven, son? I am. Okay.
How are you doing, son? Doing good, Mom. I'm fixing to coat these crackers, and we're going to be almost done. So I'm just going to take our mixture that we did earlier, and I'm mm -hmm. going to pour this on. And I'm going to make sure and get all the good tastings out of this bowl. All right, I, I taught you that much, didn't I? Waste not, won't not. Yeah, you taught me that and how to keep an extra 20 pounds on. Thank you very much. <laughs> So what we're going to do now, Mom, is make sure that we shake this up really well to get all the crackers seasoned well, or that or you can put it in your trunk and go down the dirt road. <laughs> we're just going to make sure and coat every cracker really good. That's where all the flavor comes from. Okay, what we're going to do now is put our Ritz cracker mix into the refrigerator, and this has to stay in for 24 hours. And before you eat it, pull it out an hour before. Let it sit, get to be room temperature, and the flavors are so good. And that's it. All you have to do is eat. It's just delicious. Mm. So it tastes time. Mm-hmm. That's good. Bobby, you want one? Shoot, yeah. Not bad. Just like I remember. Mm-hmm. All right, Bobby, darling, how's yours doing? Is it time to get it's yours time out? To, time to taste the caramelized popcorn. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, it looks delicious, it? really does. It? it looks perfect. What does this remind you of, Bobby? Mm-hmm. Good times. Yeah. It's delicious. It's so good. It's kind of gotten stickied up like you... Like you want it. Yes, like you want it. And coming up next, it's my turn to cook, and I'm going to make fresh fruit pizza. All right, the dish that I'm going to be fixing for our poker game today is one of Jamie and Bobby's favorite dishes, and it's called fresh fruit pizza, and it's so good. Don't you love it, guys? Love it. So oh, simple, too. Oh, love it's it too. so simple. I'm going to start with just a refrigerated cookie dough, and I'm going to use a standard pizza pan. While I'm doing this, Jamie's over here cutting fruit, and Bobby's over here making the cheese sauce. I've got eight ounces of cream cheese and about a half teaspoon of almond extract. Okay, taste that, son, because sometimes I like to slip in just a little bit more of the extract. See if it needs just a little bit more. Could it? Yeah, actually, it's good. It's good like that. Is he smart mouthing me? <laughs> sometimes I can't figure it out. Thank you, my precious. You're welcome, Mama. All right, now I've about got my dough worked in this pan. How are you coming, darling, over there? Hi, Mama. I'm just cutting up this fruit. But are you cutting it the way I like it? Uh, you're standing right next to me. Yes, ma'am, I am. Thank you, son. You're welcome, Mama. And how's that cream cheese over there, darling? It's ready to go. Okay. Well, mine's ready, too, so I'm going to put this in the oven about 10 to 12 minutes on a 350-degree preheated oven. And we're gonna have the best pizza dough you ever put in your mouth in just a few minutes. All right, guys, I've already gotten one pizza dough ready. All right, son, you wanna frost the crust? Yes, ma'am. And it's gonna be so good with that fruit. And speaking of fruits, <laughs> Jamie <laughs> is cutting up the fruit over here. Imagine that. <laughs> Remember to. Put all your fresh fruit through a lemon wash, and that keeps it from browning so quick. That's your apples and bananas and anything that can bruise. All right, guys, our pizza's ready to assemble now. Before we put the fruit, I'm going to sprinkle just about maybe a tablespoon of powdered sugar over that cream cheese to just give it a little bit of sweet taste. Mm -hmm. I really want my cookie pizza to look like a regular pizza. Like, it, you know how that pizza has that big old puff of crust all around it? So I really want this pizza to look like that. So I'm going to try to achieve that by using a peach around the edge, just like this. And I'm just going to go all the way around. Do y'all remember, what did we spend? Either 20 or 25 consecutive Thanksgivings at Uncle Bernie and Aunt Glennis' house in Statesboro. If we weren't eating, we were playing poker, weren't we? Every night. And Uncle Bob, oh my goodness, it would kill him if he lost a dollar. <laughs> then he was he was ready to take his records and go home. You remember? <laughs> I sure do. But we had more fun, and I remember Uncle Bernie. God rest his soul. When it was time for him to Annie, he'd throw in his money, he'd say, 
Alky Hall. <laughs> you remember that? Yeah. Instead of I call Alky Hall. Because that's what he was full of. Alky Hall. <laughs> you might be right. Do you want me to start heating up this marmalade or is it too? Yes, son. But don't heat it. Don't get it like real, real thin. I've got Jamie back here now heating up just some store-bought orange marmalade. And we're going to drizzle that on top of our pizza. Really, the only way you can mess up this part is to, is to heat it up so much that it breaks down and it turns into a watery. You want it just a nice medium so it yeah. runs off your spoon. But you just have to be careful. If too much heat and it'll totally break down. I don't think that needs another thing, do you guys? It's beautiful. Gorgeous. Oh, just to sweeten up that fruit just a little bit more. Guys, it's just looking too, too good. So, Mom, you want me to go get the poker table and the chips ready? Shoot, yeah, son. I'm, I'm done here. Oh, it looks mm -hmm. great. Doesn't until, it look not delicious? Not until I have a bite of that. You want a piece now? Yes. OK. Smells so good. Mm-hmm. The fresh fruit is just look at that. What yeah, you think? Fantastic. One little Give piece. me a piece. <laughs> mm. Perfect. How about a strawberry? I didn't I didn't get a strawberry on that piece. Mm. How about a strawberry. Awesome. That's your brother's. He asked for it first. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. Don't you wish you could have some? <laughs> Would you like some? <laughs> Please, Mama. Yes. Cut me a slice, will you? I would love to cut you a slice. Mm -hmm. Gotta have a strawberry. All right. This is really the way to eat this pizza. It's just like that. Mm. <laughs> mm. Is that good? Mm. It's real good, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> How many flies have you killed with your bare hands today? Son, we're on the air. Are we? Just for that, you get some more little oh. bit of brown there. Okay, I got to have something to wipe off. Now, wasn't that good? Thank you, Mom. It was delicious. Y'all stick around because I got some hot tips for you. Maybe about cooking. <laughs> Maybe about playing poker, because I'm going to beat their brains out. <laughs> it's all your money anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to get the table. Last one dance right now! That would be you. No. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> My vignette for today, y'all? Yeah. Brush your teeth after every meal. <laughs> uh, that, he, he's all, y'all, he, he, he's a jokester. Your because yours got stolen. Somebody did steal mine. Mm. But I got a real tip. My tip is to flavor your cookie dough with sweetened cocoa powder, make you a chocolate crust. And if you really want some like cheese on it, <sighs> how do you like this melted mozzarella cheese? Mm. Wow. It's really not cheese though. It's white chocolate. But it makes it look like cheese, doesn't it? And on top of that, you can sprinkle a little coconut. Next. Okay. <laughs> if you want to shake up this caramelized popcorn, and once this cools, you can use malted milk balls or plain M&Ms or Heath Bar Bites and just let your imagination go wild. Sounds good. Why don't we put some more? <laughs> All right. A lot of M&Ms. That's my imagination. <laughs> so, Jamie, what's your tip? My tip for the chicken nuggets today, y'all, don't forget that the, the coating for your chicken, you can change it any way you want to do. We did a sour cream and onion potato chip today, but don't be afraid to do barbecue or corn chips. And uh, a really good chef told me that Captain Crunch makes a great coating for the chicken. My tip to both of you guys is don't bet all your money on a hand if it ain't a royal flush. Y'all remember that. All right, guys, y'all ready to play? I'm ready. Good, I feel hot tonight. All right. 
You know, my boys really are good cooks, but we thought it'd be fun to share some time with y'all and use some of the recipes from their boyhood that they love so much, like Jamie's potato chip encrusted chicken and Bobby's honey mustard and the fruit pizza and the herb cheese bits. And of course, the caramel popcorn that y'all's great grandmother used to make for you when you were teeny little boys. I know you love that. It's delicious. Thanks for having us today, Mom. It was awesome. We had a great time. And as my mom always says, <laughs> best dishes from our kitchen to yours. Bye, America. <laughs> I told y'all I felt hot tonight. Yep.